Hello folks, this is uh, uh, 2022 actually. So let me write the code here. 9702, it is 12 O N and 22. So it is 2022, October, November, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 30. So this question is concerned with the uh, chapter superposition of waves and uh, it's about uh, uh, pattern through diffraction grading. So it says a uh, red light of a single wavelength passes through a diffraction grating through grating bright dots are formed on the screen as shown so these are the bright dots actually these are red dots actually now the red light is replaced with white light so white light means composite light which is combined light it has got all the colors in addition to red from violet to red lots of them which diagram drawn to the same scale shows a possible pattern of a bright light on the screen so for a white light, what we have to do is, let us uh, go through the, uh, the formula for this thing. So we can see bright dots at the, those places where this condition is fulfilled. So D sine theta is equal to N lambda. So N is the order here. Or here. So if the, if the fringe separation is this, D, if uh, theta is the angle, uh, angle found by the light ray here, the light ray which goes here with the, with the original direction. So this is the original direction. So if this is the light ray, so the angle formed here will be this theta. So we have to fulfill this condition to have bright spot. Now, if we have got, so when we use white light, we are using different wavelengths. So for red, for red, red lambda is high. Lambda is a high, so that's why, that's why theta should be high. Theta should be high. Theta should be high. And for violet, violet we should have we should have a lambda is less is a less and theta should also be less also be less so now this is for red for red 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 and red so for red what happens is the angle formed by this should be uh, the angle formed by this should be equal to this and in white light also white light also the angle formed by red should be same if angle is same the separation should be same if angle for red is same, the separation should be same. So we have to go for go for that diagram in which we have got a different angles, different angles. So different angles are shown by somewhat like this. So here what happens is white light should spread. White light will split. It splits into violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, and yellow, orange, and red. So that means the pattern here will be it is it will not be a dot. It will not be a dot. It should be somewhat a longer one. So those dots and dots, the, the choices which give us dots, they disqualify. Only these two things can qualify. And among these two things, what we have is the red. Red should be forming more angle or more displacement, let us say. Red should be forming more displacement and the violet should be forming less displacement. So that's why here we have got more displacement, more displacement, less displacement, more, less, more, less, more, less. So this should be violet, red. This should be violet, red, red, violet, uh, red, violet, and this should be the central one. Let us see. Oh, and here you should have red, violet, red, violet, red, violet, and red, violet. Now we have to evaluate where the separation from the center, center for the red should are equal, equal to this. The separation from the center for red are equal. So for that I can use a scale here. So if I use a scale, it's about a 2 cm for the red. And if I go here, I have got around, uh, around and for red, it is around 2.8 cm. For red, it's a 2.8 cm. And for here, here we have for red, it is around 2 cm. So that means <coughs> here, red is showing more displacement, but here the red is showing the same displacement as this. So that means that, that means this diagram should be the correct one, and this should be the incorrect one. So. The correct answer choice is choice number D.